the sun just set in Kotor, Montenegro. I will be back in the morning to give you a better view of the town, the bay, and the surrounding area. Take a look at the bay of Kotor. The sun is just starting to rise above the Montenegrin mountains and this just might be the ideal time of day to get a look at this beautiful bay and the surrounding mountains and towns. Right below me is the walled medieval town of Kotor. Just like in Dubrovnik, I'm sitting in a fortress. Atop a walled medieval town along the Adriatic that is yet another World Heritage Site. Here's a better look at the town walls. And the town itself. Church bells are starting to ring. There are Orthodox churches in the old town. This looks like a fjord, but it's not. It's a former river canyon that makes up the inlet of the Bay of Kotor. Uh, the bay winds around that hill, and on the other side, it connects to the Adriatic. This is not a place that has the history or significance of Dubrovnik, but it has matching beauty, if not even more. This is a part of my journey through the Western Balkans, through the former Yugoslavia, where I just relax and take in the incredible view and the incredible natural scenery. The bay is a strategic location. It's got a harbor or two that are very well protected because of the geography. Also at the onset of the Yugoslav Wars there was propaganda going out suggesting that the Croatians were going to seize the Bay of Kotor and supposedly that built up public opinion in Montenegro in support of the siege of Dubrovnik. But that's not why I'm here. The scene is just spectacular. There are towns and villages that line the bay and in this fortress you can actually tell that there are houses and people living here. It's hard to get a better view from your front window than this. Here's a look at the Montenegrin Mountains. The country gets its name from them. They're supposedly black mountains. And they do look a little black, especially when the sun has not yet creeped over them. You can see there's now a Montenegrin flag at this fortress. I know there was 
a fortress in this area that was built by Justinian, the Byzantine Emperor, I believe in 535. I'm not positive if this is it, but this is certainly an old fortress and people have been living in this area for a long time. The old town of Kator is very well preserved. I hope you've enjoyed the view from up above the Bay of Kotor. I'm now gonna head over those supposedly black mountains into a more populated area of Montenegro. Goodbye from the Bay of Kotor.